What's up, everyone? Welcome back. So, yeah, going to be doing some Splatoon 2, and I know this is probably not what you guys were expecting. To be honest, it's not even what I was expecting to be doing today. Um, but some things have transpired, I should say. Because I know when I uh, last left you guys yesterday, technically it will have been yesterday for you guys. Um, but, yeah, that recording session I did of Dead or Alive 5, I remember during that I said... That, you know, this would be kind of just a normal week where I'd just be, uh, like, recording, you know, my normal shit on Monday. Just, you know, normal pick up and play game, shit like that. And then on fucking Tuesday and Wednesday, you know, I'd work on Pokemon Sword and then my new PlayStation 4 project. And then on Thursday, you know, I'd, I'd do probably uh, Rock Band and then another pick up and play game. And then Friday, I'd be working on some other shit. Uh, shit that you guys won't see quite yet but something that i have planned for a little bit down the line it should be fun um but yeah that was what i was planning on doing this week and that did not pan out at all so please allow me to explain why the reason why i decided not to do that this week is just because i've been having too many issues with my old recording device just glitching out on videos and shit and i always try to do my best to provide you guys with obviously the best quality content that i can you know, obviously, you know, my content is still very good quality, don't get me wrong, but it's still not, you know, on par with probably some of, like, the more professional YouTubers out there, you know. The, like, best resolution that I can get is 720 at 60 frames, which, you know, obviously having the 60 frames is very nice, but, you know, 720 is not the best resolution out there. It's also not the worst, trust me, guys. Go back and watch some of my older videos, because trust me, I could do a hell of a lot worse, and I have in the past, you know. Um... But, you know, I have a budget to work with. You know, I don't have an infinite supply of money because, again, for those of you who don't know, I fund everything with this YouTube channel 100% self-funded. You know, I don't get any outside sponsors or any of that bullshit. No, you know, fan-funded shit. This is all 100% self-funded. I have no donors, no sponsors, no nothing. So... You know, I do the best with what I've got, you know, and I don't have an infinite amount of money. Granted, I've been figuring out, you know, over the past several years how to spend my money effectively, you know, to be able to do a bunch of fun stuff for you guys on this YouTube channel. Like coming up within the next, I'd say, several months, I'm going to be starting to show off a boatload of brand new games for you guys. And I, was, I, am, I am able to do that because of how I spend my money. I do it in a smart way that allows me to spend money in a smart way while still, you know, saving up money at the same time. So, yeah, it just kind of is what it is in that regard. But the reason, again, why I'm doing this today is just because I was having too many issues with my old recording device, and I just didn't want to, like, you know, record anything important necessarily with my old recording device. And by important, I mean, you know, like playthrough projects or like rock band stuff. Um, you know, stuff that I really need the video quality to be consistent. You know, especially like with storyline based games, you know, you don't want shit getting glitchy during cutscenes and shit like that. Otherwise, you guys miss out on shit. And I think that's kind of shitty. So um, that's why I actually decided to call it quits for this week. Um, as far as recordings are concerned. So actually, in between, like, to put things in perspective for you guys, because again, I pre-record all my videos several months in advance before I actually get around to uploading them. So from the time that I, like, record a video to the time I upload a time span of about, like, six months goes by, I would say, on average. Um, so again, I pre-record and then stockpile my videos on a hard drive. So this won't really, what I'm about to say won't really affect you guys too much at all. But from the time I recorded the last recording session that I did, which was uh, Dead or Alive 5, uh, in between that, which I recorded on Monday, and this, which I am recording right now, it is currently Friday, a time span of three days has gone by. I decided to, again, kind of basically call it quits this week because I ordered a new recording device, and I wasn't sure when it was going to show up, so I just decided I'm like... I'll just take it easy this week. I won't do any recordings. It doesn't really matter that much because, again, I have so many videos saved up that, you know, obviously I'm never going to run out of content to produce for you guys, at least not anytime soon. Um, so that's why I basically decided to just, like, call it quits for this week. But luckily yesterday, uh, yeah, just yesterday, my new recording device 
got to my house. It was shipped to my house yesterday. So yesterday I hooked it up and shit. And actually what you are watching right now is being recorded on my new recording device. It's the same exact, you know, like model of recording device that I was using before. Uh, it's just a brand new one because my other one was just starting to act a bit janky and shit, which actually now looking back on it, I think that's actually just because of the thumb drive that I was using. Cause I think, um, you know, the flash drive, uh, cause basically you stick a flash drive into it and then it's, you know, the recording device stores the videos directly onto the flash drive. So I don't have to like hook up my laptop to my recording device, which is what's really nice about this recording device. The HDML cloner box pro, I want to say. Uh, courtesy of Cloner Alliance. Uh, that's part of what makes this, this device so brilliant. You know, this recording device that I use, that's part of what makes it so brilliant is that it does not require laptop integration, which is good for me because ironically, and I know this must be really ironic and surprising to some of you guys, but I am not a very tech savvy person. Like when it comes to most technology and shit, I don't know much about it. Like if you asked me to like do coding on a laptop, I wouldn't even know where to fucking start. You know, so like I'm not a very tech savvy guy um, just in general. I mean, again, I know the basics, but for the most part, I'm not very like good with technology, which is, you know, kind of surprising. But this device is so easy to use that even I, you know, even I was able to figure it out quite easily um, and make use of it quite well, I think. So, uh, yeah, um, so I'm recording on my new recording device for the first time. I wanted to play a simple game today to, you know, test this recording device, make sure it's working 100%, make sure that it's recording videos properly and all that good shit. Um, so, yeah, that's basically why I'm recording Splatoon 2 today. Again, I didn't want to, for this first recording session on this new recording device, I did not want to, you know, do a storyline-based game because I want to make sure that this recording device works properly first before I actually, you know, get into, you know, storyline-based games and, you know, shit like that. That's really important that I have consistent quality when I'm recording games like that. Whereas something like this, you know, it's just your basic pick up and play game. You know, it's not as important in my opinion as something like a storyline based game. I need to make sure that my recording device is working hundred percent before I start recording shit like storyline based games, you know, like Pokemon sword, like I've been working on. So again, today is basically just a test recording session to see what this recording device can do. Um, again, it's, pretty much the same exact one as I was using before. So luckily I don't have to, you know, figure out new sound settings and all that shit. Although I am thinking about buying a new sound system soon. So I may kind of have to tweak it a little bit with regards to that. Um, but that probably won't be happening at least for a couple more weeks yet. Um, so yeah, just kind of is what it is as far as that's concerned. But yeah, um, should be fun today. So just going to take things casual, play some Splatoon 2, and hopefully this recording device is working all good. Seems to be working just fine so far. So, yeah. Again, I really have always loved the concept of these particular recording devices that Cloner Alliance makes. You know, ones where you don't have to plug them into your laptop. I really, really like that idea. I think it's definitely an awesome idea. So yeah, anyway, today should be fun again, just taking it kind of casual today and all that good shit, so. Yeah, and I figured this would be, you know, again, just a quick, easy game I could just pick up and play for you guys. This, is, this is, I figured, would be a good game to test this recording device with. Because there's a lot of, like, movement and shit. This game runs, you know, when it's actually in battles, of course, in this area, it runs like 30 frames per second, I believe, but... When it's in, like, actual battles and shit, it runs 60 frames, so this will be a good test for this recording device. And, yeah, should be fun. But, yeah, again, just kind of a casual, uh, casual recording session today. Alright, kicking things off with a fucking splatter shot. So that should be fun. All right, getting ready to do some kicking of asses or whatever, you know, if I die first, we'll see what happens. But 
yeah, this device seems to be running smoothly so far. I also decided to get a different brand of uh, flash drive as well, because I had been using these SanDisk ones, but they get like really overheated, so I decided to go with a different brand this time in the hopes that maybe they're a little bit more durable. So, yeah, we'll see either way. All right, rocking out of more eight fucking towers. All right, let's fuck them up. Nice, all that coverage. Oh, so good. Nice. Fucking nailed that guy's bitch ass. Again, this is my first match of the day, so I'm probably going to be a little bit iffy, but it is how it is. Luckily, I've got a splashdown, so that's good. May have to make use of that at some point. Damn, couldn't get the splashdown off. I kind of had a feeling he was there. I just thought I would be able to get the splashdown off, but apparently not. Fucking stupid, but whatever. Whoa, shit. Yeah, should have stayed up there. That was stupid. Ah. Yeah, I thought he was going to come in from the other side. That's why I was aiming there. I was trying to preemptively strike there. That just wasn't happening. Nice, got the splash down. Nice, saw him coming up there. That was nice. Oh, shit. Now I feel like a dickhole. I just got that guy killed, I think. Oh, no, I think he actually did escape. That's good. Okay, so got a few extra points there. Probably not much, but still, it's something. Yeah, nice, we won. It's looking a little iffy for a bit there, but yeah. I gotta say, I think this new recording device is working well so far. Haven't had any issues yet. I know this is my first video with it, but it seems to be in good working order. So, yeah, again, we'll have some more fun here. Throw in a few more matches, and yeah, it'll be all good. Either way, guys, that will do it for that one. Peace out.